With the continued increase in the proliferation of still cameras that capture really high quality video footage and also the, the affordability of high definition video cameras, Adobe has increased the links between Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements programs. This has continued over the last few revisions until at this point now, especially with uh, version 9 where we have the Macintosh version of Elements including the organizer space and also Premiere Elements being available for the Macintosh. There are now lots of crossovers and lots of links between the two programs. You only have to look at the welcome screens in both programs to realize that the the organizer space is now common to both Photoshop Elements and also uh, Premiere Elements as well. And this really means that we have a common place where we can work with both programs and a common place where we can organize all of our files. You can see here we've got a range of video files and we're sitting inside the organizer space and you can choose the type of files that are being displayed inside the organizer space by selecting these media type options from the view media types menu. You can see I've turned off photos so we're just looking at video and don't have audio selected projects and PDFs as well. Notice that there are keystrokes that you can use for quickly jumping between these media types as well. Notice also things like if we put five stars associated with this video clip that sort of information will be reflected back inside Premiere Elements as well. So if I right click on this image instead of giving me the option to open it up inside Photoshop Elements because it's a video or movie file it only gives me the option to open it with Premiere Elements. Now of course this only occurs if you have Premiere Elements installed on your machine. I'm just going to select that option and then just click OK. Automatically that file is taken through to Premiere Elements and is added into the sequence or timeline that we have here. Notice that over on the right hand side we have, if I go to the, to the media option, we have our files sitting here and these files we can again select whether we're looking at audio, whether we're looking at pictures, whether we're looking at uh, video as well and we can go through and do things like select albums and these albums are the same albums that's inside our organizer workspace so it's a great way for you to actually organize your files and have just a small subset of the files available to you when you're actually showing them inside the Premiere Elements workspace. So you can see here are all the video clips that we saw inside the organizer if I select uh, five star rating and higher well then that will pare down the files that are being shown to just those ones that have five stars uh, attributed to them. Also notice that the, the file that I chose to open is now sitting inside this workspace here. There it is there and it's already layered up inside the workspace. So there's a lot more cross links between Premiere Elements, Photoshop Elements through the common organizer workspace now and it'll make it a lot easier for you to work backwards and forwards between the two programs. You can bring still images into Premiere Elements to make slideshows, especially with the presets that are set up there for doing things like pan and zooms uh, automatically for you. So if you have the Premiere Elements program or want to download the trial version of that, well then it's a lot easier for you to work between the two programs and to make use of both still and video footage from your DSLR or point and shoot cameras.